Today we are going to be preparing some ferrocene. The method I'm going to use here is not extremely sensitive to air, nor does it require water-free conditions, and it also uses fairly common chemicals. For the synthesis, I'm going to be using 5 grams of iron 2 chloride tetrahydrate, 75 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, 20 grams of potassium hydroxide, 25 milliliters of dicyclopentadiene, 20 milliliters of dimethyl sulfoxide, and 50 milliliters of THF. Here is the apparatus that is going to be used for cracking the dicyclopentadiene to cyclopentadiene. On the receiver, I've set up an ice bath to slow down the dimerization of the cyclopentadiene back to dicyclopentadiene. And above the distilling flask, I have a reflux condenser with 50 degree water circulating it to prevent any dicyclopentadiene from making it up the column and allowing all the cyclopentadiene to pass freely. First, the dicyclopentadiene was heated to its melting point. Then the 25 milliliters of the dicyclopentadiene was measured out and added to the flask. Twenty milliliters of dimethyl sulfoxide was added to five grams of iron two chloride tetrahydrate under a blanket of argon, and the argon isn't strictly necessary, but it prevents some oxidation to iron three. The apparatus for the synthesis of the ferrocene was then assembled. Four point two five milliliters of cyclopentadiene was pipetted into fifty milliliters of tetrahydrofuran. Now, most procedures call for the use of dimethoxyethane for the solvent. However, it's not necessary, and you can use other solvents like diethyl ether and also likely dioxane as well. A stream of argon was passed through the apparatus to purge out the air. Twenty grams of potassium hydroxide was added to the flask and stirred for 15 minutes before the addition of the dimethyl sulfoxide and iron chloride solution. The addition took roughly 30 minutes to complete. I did a second run of the synthesis, this time using powdered potassium hydroxide instead of flakes, and the yield was slightly higher in the end.
75 milliliters of hydrochloric acid was added to 80 grams of ice and this will be used as the quenching bath for the reaction mixture. Two point two grams of crude ferrocene was recovered from the run with the potassium hydroxide flakes and two point nine grams from the run with the potassium hydroxide powder. The crude product from both runs was combined and then washed with water to further clean the product. The washed and dried ferrocene was then sublimated to further purify it. A significant amount of product was lost during the sublimation, bringing the yield down to 1.2 grams, or 13%. However, I definitely think that these wonderful crystals make up for that loss.